Hi guys and welcome back to the Wednesday News Show. Today we have matchy jumpers, a bad hair day and a ton of news, so let's get on it. Speak for yourself with a bad hair day. How's your hair? My hair looks great. I'm a bit cold. Okay. It's the only reason I'm wearing a hat. My are hair you, is, is fantastic. Are you not wearing a hat because it's an Epic TV hat? So, you know. No, no, I mean, I've already got this. I just, I, I'm a bit cold. Right. But my hair underneath this is a is million dollars. Okay. Uh, yeah. Talking about good hair, Alex Magus <laughs> sent a 9B. Has he got good hair? Yeah, he does. Alex Magus is on a rampage down in Spain, and this week he shared a picture with bleeding fingertips after having climbed Furia de Jabil, a 9B in Sirana. This route was first climbed by Will Bosey last year, and on the grade, Alex simply comments that King Capella was harder. I'm quite enjoying this, uh, not talking about the grade. They're hard. They're just hard routes. But I mean, like, I think Yukoko Latka, who we're going to hear about in a sec, doesn't like talking about grades. Uh, maybe we just, it's just, we just like gradeless climbs. Maybe this is going to be the norm. I like that last week somebody was just like, anything above 6C, it's a 6C plus. Cosmo like, Steve. It doesn't matter. Hi, Cosmo. He's a man. <laughs> it He's a man. Matter. He's got a He's new grading man. system. He is a man. Um, He's a man. He is a man. Is he? Uh, speaking of men. Nice tenuous link. Um, Jakub Polarka has just made an ascent of an 8C plus trad route, which is an extension of a burnt, burnt Zangel uh, boulder problem, high boulder, boulder, boulder problem. Uh, we, we managed to catch up with Jakopo uh, to talk a little bit about his latest ascent. Into the sun, it's, um, I would describe it as a hybrid route. It's basically a hard high ball, followed by a, a easier section. After the first seven meters, you reach um, a big horizontal crack where you can place some, some bomber gear. And from there, you traverse to the left to um, top out the big buller. I don't know, for me as a, a tread climber, it simply made more sense to climb it like that because you climb the first section protected by the, by the pads, and then you reach this, uh, this big horizontal crack where you can place some bomber gear. I didn't count the sessions, but I invested a lot of, of time on it, I think around eight sessions, something like that. So I struggled a lot, especially with the last two moves, and I fell there. The main challenges were probably the conditions and the fact that if you want to climb it as a tread climb, you need to have a, a V-layer. Luckily, I had a, a lot of friends and, and Babsi who supported me. So the main part of the climb was, was dry, the hardest part, but the start and the top out were often wet. The biggest problem was the star because you basically started the entire climb with wet shoes and, uh, and wet hands. But on the day of the sand, it was really good. It was cold and everything was dry, except for uh, for the top out, which was really cool. Thanks, Yukopo, and congrats again on your another trad first ascent into the sun. Um, interesting method there. Yeah, uh, he I says mean, there's an alternative, but he's a trad climber. So he's he tried climbed it. Yeah, which is pretty it, obvious. It could have been it could have been a boulder problem. He just needed a million crash pads. Like a really really high ball boulder problem, and then he said there was a split of crack. So mm. why not? Why yeah, not protect why not? it? Why not? Yeah, but I agree. I agree. Why not? Like it's there. There's a crack. You have got gear. You use the gear. Exactly. Yeah. What's next? Uh, next up, I have a very hard boulder problem in Switzerland. Belgian climber Simon Lorenzi made the third ascent of Off the Wagon Low, the iconic 8C plus boulder in Val Bavona, Switzerland. In his Instagram post, he explains his obsession with the line and how changing up the beta allowed him a chance to send it. Plagued with bad weather, he only had a one-day window, so he drove nine hours from Belgium and the next day, after a couple of attempts, he was able to send it. So Simon Lorenzi climbed Maybe a 9A boulder. This is an 8C plus uh, boulder. It's that Simone Lorenzi. Yeah, he did. Uh, what was it called? The, the one in Fontainebleau. I'm having a brain fart right now. Big Island sit start. Big <laughs> Island sit start. Thank you. Uh, yeah, he climbed that. And uh, I can't wait to see the movie, actually, because the trailer looks beautiful. Yeah. Um, but yeah, another, another hard tick for him. And uh, it was quite interesting to read all his attempts and how like a beta change was like a massive breakthrough and he knew that going back to like he just needed one more session on it so he went back for it and sent it amazing it's all about minute beta changes isn't it when you're bouldering 
at the highest level, something that we don't know anything about. Something that who does know about it is Molly Thompson-Smith. British climber Molly Thompson-Smith has made an impressive quick ascent of Flip Floppera, an 8B boulder in the Lake District, UK. Molly made this ascent in an hour with a little help from fellow wad Aidan Roberts, who she was there visiting. As Molly says on her Instagram, a good confidence boost that my finger is back on track. Nice shot from Sam Pratt. So it's good to see Molly coming back from uh, it, it feels like it feels like an endless stream of injuries for Molly. Yeah, this one was like a finger tweak while she was climbing another 8B boulder, but uh, it was like a month ago. I guess she recovered quickly, but uh, yeah, in a session, an 8B, that's super impressive. That's good. It's good. It's good to hear that she's back and strong. Yes. Because uh, it's always gutting when you hear about people getting injured, and she has been injured quite a lot, so I'm, I'm psyched for her to be coming back. My next story is also about a climber who is back from injury. As reported on 8A.NU, Yanya Kazbekova, who recently had a couple of bad injuries, now looks to be back on form with her latest ascent of Palindrome, an 8C in Siranam. This route took her three days to climb. Yanya, obviously down in Spain with Alex, um, and she actually mentioned that she sent this climb after seeing him sending King Capello. So it must have been like, psych, 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 let's go send it. Uh, it, it is either that or like, I think I feel like when I'm climbing with somebody really like good, much better than me. I'm not saying that Alex is much better than that, but if I'm climbing with somebody that's climbing loads better than me, I it, it has the, the reverse effect. Really? Like, like you don't want to climb? Like, that's so good. <laughs> Never gonna be that good. I always think out of osmosis you're gonna pick it up. Like maybe because you're maybe. breathing the same air, you're yeah. touching the same rope. Breathing no. the same air. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, okay, I think you are, you're in the time. same space. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, next up, we got a story about an 8B plus route in America. 8A.NU reports that Audrey Sniezek has climbed the 8B plus route God's Own Stone in the Red River Gorge, Kentucky, USA. Audrey has previously climbed 8C some nine years ago, and at the age of 50, this is her fifth 8B plus. There's an excellent interview with Audrey on 8A.NU that tells the story of this ascent, sadly including a family death, which meant she hasn't climbed much this year, making this ascent even more impressive on many levels. Okay, so kudos to Jens for getting a lovely interview uh, with Audrey about that. He does make a big thing about her being 50 and climbing 8B+, but as we know, it 50 is the new matter. 40. Is it? And if you keep yourself in shape, as Audrey obviously has, anything is possible. So I am still hoping for that 6B send by the time I'm 50. Are you waiting to be I'm 50? I'm training hard for it. 6B, not 8B plus. <laughs> so I'm just training. <laughs> That's the training. That's the training okay, I'm done for the day. Next up, from one extreme to another, we have an 11-year-old climbing 8B boulder. As reported on 8A.NU, 11-year-old Tristan Schuvi, who last week sent Lacrima an 8B in Fontainebleau, this week has done the second repeat of Philippe Ledemat's Enigma, another 8B in Fontainebleau. He started working this boulder back in May, however, it couldn't do one move. And after sending Enigma, that impossible move went down. And after waiting for his skin to heal, he was able to send this boulder. 11-year-old French kid, two 8Bs in like, a week. French, the, the, the future looks bright for French. For France, for France. yes, for France. <laughs> uh, because well, obviously you've got Theo Blass. Yes, who's a sport climber, don't know. my breath. Well, maybe it will be a boulder. Ooh, it's that will cold. be interesting to see. They should, they, we should do a series with them and they should swap. And swap see lives. If, like swap that lives. Film. So, uh, what's that film? Um, the, the twins? Freaky Friday. A Freaky no? Friday? What's the twins <laughs> one? Uh, the one in New York? Is it that? Oh no! Yeah, they, they, did, they did a remake of it and it was... Um... Oh, what's it called? It's another Lindsay Lohan one. Yes, Lindsay Lohan when she's like really young. Yeah. If uh, anybody knows, comment, called? make a comment below. <laughs> no, I have it on the tip of my tongue. Don't worry about what it. What is you, it? Well, they'll, they'll, they'll answer in the comments. Next up, I've got an 8C roundup. 8A.NU reports that Zach Galla, who is on a big roll at the moment, has climbed Pegasus, an 8C boulder in Joe's Valley, Utah. Italian climber Marcello Bombardi, more known for his sport routes, has made an ascent of an 8C boulder Zikarat at Gabi in the Aosta Valley, North Italy. Thanks to Planet Mountain for breaking that one. German climber Dominic Bosch has made an ascent of Frontman Deluxe in Algao, Southern Italy. 
This is a 9A sport route and Dominic, who is normally a boulderer, skipped from a previous best of 8B to his now best grade. Impressive. Thanks again to 8A.NU for that story. Okay, so that was Dominic Bosch who uh, did a sport route in the 8C boulder roundup, so it doesn't really make any sense, but he skipped from 8B to 9A in grades. That's, uh, that's quite a skip. So it's a bit of a smorgasbord of news there. I don't know what that means. Carry on. Okay. But uh, yes, we have more news from Tom and Pete Whitaker, obviously the white boys. Uh, and we read about this or heard about it from in the last couple of weeks that they sent. I mean, where have you heard about it? I couldn't find Instagram. it anywhere. Instagram. You couldn't find it anywhere. Instagram, all over the news. This yeah. looks like uh, probably one of the worst but most impressive climbs yes. I've ever seen. Yes. The fact that it's what, 2,500 feet? So 750 meters of a crack, oh horizontal God. crack. But it's the equivalent of half dome, but horizontal. So it's like they flipped the whole mountain under a motorway. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what happened. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, there's going to be a real rock episode movie about it. So that will be interesting to see how it is. Three nights, four days three under nights, a motorway. Four days. That's like grim. In the name of First Ascents, that yeah. is... We're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Pete, what's going to turn around though? We're not worthy. We're not worthy. But isn't it their thing though? Just like a good suffer fest. Big time. Yeah. I remember when Robbie Phillips started doing the whole like uh, crack climbing under bridges and we we're like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And Tom and Pete came along and we're like, right, we're going to take this and multiply it by 1,500. Yep. Uh, yep. And then yep. see where we get to. And this is where we got to. I don't think anybody can push it further than they've just pushed it. Well, are you sure? I feel there are more like bridges out there to I'm always sure. I, I never say anything that I'm not sure about. All right, okay, right. Let's not move on to the 9B counter. counter. <laughs> Alex Magos, yeah? Alex Magos, yeah. Alex Magos. He's we on apparently the... didn't put him on last week. I know, so he gets... Where's Steve or Jim or Tony or... or... David. Dave. Where's David when you need he him? He will pop up. Soon. David, where are you? I Come feel, back. I Come back to like us. It. Come back to us and update. Send you an email. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so Alex Magus gets two points from last week and one point from this week. Is there an AC Plus counter? Does that exist anymore? Well, the Shroud counter, but what is it, AC Plus? E10? Definitely E10. Definitely. More? Like I said, I'm always sure about what I say, so I'm just going to I'm gonna stick with that. It's yeah. definitely an E10. Okay, so then Jacopo gets one point. Boom! <laughs> Okay, so that was an IB counter. Let's talk shop stuff. We. Oui. Cyber Week. We. Oui. Continuation of Black Friday Week. We. Oui. Up to 60% off. You're making me want to go to the toilet. Um, <laughs> Why? You keep saying we. Oui. Go, go get some more deals. There is limited stock because we had the sales went kind of through the roof last week. Uh, if you want to check out uh, Friday Gear show. show special that we did last week with Matt and Teresa, there's a three hour 40 uh, show. It was an epic. We had loads of guests on there. We had Stefano Gosolfi, Beatrice Coli, Lari, Lari Arce, and, um, Scarpa Expert, Nate. talking about new shoes and stuff like that. So Teresa is going to make a highlights video. She's going to timestamp it. She's going to work really hard on it. But if you want to go and watch that, that is on the Epic TV Climbing Daily channel. Lots of cool stuff in there. There will be a link down below. And yet, yeah, I guess watch it so you know, also know what's available on the shop or not uh, for this Cyber Monday week sales. Uh, yes. Next up, Epic TV Media. And what's coming out this week, Hugo? Okay, next up, we've got a uh, the latest world less traveled from uh, Josh and Charlotte. They are in the pool. Here's a clip. Here's a clip. Zarok, which is a 20 minute slash 40 minute hike above Namche. And uh, we got a topo from a friend of mine, Brian Rosa in Boston. Wow. Kind of a topo, but like told us some boulders up here, told us where there's some projects, some classics.
cool trailer. I can't wait to see that. Yes. Um, but on Climbing Daily this week, we have an episode from the latest Arterix Academy in the Lake District. So check out the trailer. My name is Charlie Woodburn and I'm helping out today at the Arcturus Academy for the beginner's rope climbing course. I've been assisting Paul, who is the guide doing the classes. Whilst Paul's setting up the ropes, I take the beginners doing some footwork, masterclass skills uh, with bouldering, just to give them the feel of moving on actual rock, because all of them have only climbed indoors before, which is a very different experience. So get them used to moving on actual rock outside, which can prep them for something a bit higher and a bit more challenging up on the ropes behind us. Foot rather than your knee, if you can hurry it, there'll be somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Both hands on the dead rope, nice and low. I am, sir. Uh, Lean back when you're ready. Are you definitely <laughs> That looks like such a cool event. It's like Arterix Academy, but then in the Lake District, right? Exactly, yeah. Uh, lots of tri climbing clinics, um, bouldering clinics, overnight clinics, camping clinics, wild clamping clinics, lots of clinics. Lots, lots of, of clinics. Lots of clinics. To learn about climbing. Um, yeah, but if you want, we'll put the link down below if you want to book yourself for next year. A great way to kind of get an introduction from if you're like a more of an indoor climber going to outdoors, mm -hmm. just to see what you can kind of get done. Yeah. Especially if you have something like the Lake District on your doorstep, which is an incredible place. It's meant to be the best place in England to, to climb because everybody uh, told me to go climb there. It's an amazing like place. Like when I mentioned I it's was going to England, place. they're like, go to Wales, go to the Lake District. Yeah, Lake District for me is my favorite place in England. I think it's to, to film, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's the, 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 the English Verdun Gorge. Oh, right. I just want to explain why we're kind of talking a little bit jattery and like this. Quick. It's so cold in this office because the, all the heating's gone. I need to get an email and <laughs> an electrician. Uh, but in the meantime, we're just a little bit jittery. We're a bit jittery. Uh, we're honestly a bit rushed. Uh, no, we're not rushed. We're not rushed. I feel totally calm and relaxed. But let's do a comment of the week song. I'm rushed because I drank too much coffee. All right, okay, fine. <laughs> Oh, let's do comment of the week. Three, um, two, one, go. Comment of the week. Why am I singing alone? That's beautiful. I'm sorry. Right, my one is from. I want a little mention to uh, Cosmo Steve, who's banging on about a six uh, C plus grading system again. Cosmo Steve, I got ya. Uh, and then next up, um, my other one is from, from 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 from. If Terry has to become more of a boulderizer, is Matt? gonna have to push some more of a sporterizer or both traderizers alpenizers michael roberts with a comment there that was a nice one just, oh, he's just adding yes Z, he's adding zers to everything anything michael roberts i picked also he left two comments oh did he so i picked his other one michael roberts um nice. i think i'll stick to sport climbing by the way but sport because yeah because boulderizer matt coined that uh, that word yeah boulderizer just, just just took zzz and stuck it on boulders. Make it more cool though. Boulderizers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll go with that. Uh, but yeah, my other comment from Michael Roberts is, oh, what about the education? No, Man, let's zoom in. Cause you know, I'm blind. Oh, what about in the education front? Singing in different languages would all benefit. So yes, I we are waiting for that. We're waiting for comment of the week songs in different languages. Did we not have like a, a beautiful uh, bunch of kids sing comment of the week? Yeah, but that was in English. Did we do that last week? Yes, we already showed Okay, it. that was great. Oh, Anybody sure. else who wants to sing Commentaire de la semaine? It could be. Commento de la settimana. Perfetto. Grazie. Qualsiasi cosa. Sì. Okay. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching and Good. we'll see you next week. Yes, that's it. Uh, love you, leave you, bye, have a great weekend.